So I just got my push rods in. Trick flow is 6.6 .6 inches. I clean them all first. Uh, wiped them down. I sprayed some solvent down the center. Blew it out with an air gun because I don't want any dirt in there. All your oiling for your rocker arms comes up through the center of that rocker, so the center of that push rod, and then squirts out the top. So they got to be really clean. Uh, before I put them in, I put some assembly lube on both ends. Also, every single point on the rocker arm that uh, in the cap, uh, the, the push rod seat, around the fulcrum, on the roller, on the everything. I just I did it all. Okay. Now, the book says start on cylinder one, turn the engine over until the exhaust valve begins to open, and then you can set zero lash on the um, on the intake. So uh, that's a pain in the butt, really. And then once you get to zero lash, add an extra half a turn of preload so, that, so you don't have any rattling in there. Much easier method. Basically, you just start at every single every single push rod and you tighten down the rocker arm. Once you have some play in there, you just tighten this down until you have no play. I'm not even turning this, barely turning it. And once you get that done, there's no play left in there. That one's done. Just keep going all the way around. Now some of these obviously are not down on the base circle. So this is gonna to have to be done again. That's fine. Just do every single one. Rotate the engine 90 degrees, and then go back and do it again. And after a few few turns on there, eventually every single one will be set. And it just it just takes a few minutes, real fast. Don't have to worry about what cylinder you're on. And then when I'm done, I will start it. Uh, start on the end. Add one half a turn of preload. Lock down the poly lock. One half turn. Lock down the poly lock. I just do every single one. And that way it is done. Okay, I don't have to worry about what cylinder I'm on. Uh, piece of cake. Okay, I rotated my engine uh, about 90 degrees or so. That's okay. And I'm just checking each, checking each one. Uh, it's a little bit loose right there. Okay. Just turn it just to get that slack out of there. That's it. I'll just turn it one more time. It's getting a little tougher to turn now because I have, uh, there's tension on the push rods. So I'm compressing all the springs as you go around. So. That one's a little bit loose. Okay, they, I didn't find any loose really, so I'm just going to keep going just a little bit more, just to make sure. Okay, no play at all whatsoever in there. So then I just take my, might as well start on cylinder one here. So I will just line it up wherever it's convenient and turn it 180 degrees. Yeah, I've got my 180 and then I just tighten down the poly lock. I'm going to do this off camera because it's a lot easier with two hands. Okay, that's it.